Syracuse University. We're going to have a neutral crew that's going to be working this ball game today, all from the Mid-America Conference. Hugh O'Roach, Roger Perrymore, and Sam Licklider. The starting lineups for today, Syracuse, a veteran ball club. They'll be starting three seniors. Houston returning three starters from that team that made it to the Final Four a year ago. Billy, the matchup's really interesting. Houston definitely has the most size. Well, they do have the most size. That's Drexler uh, going up against uh, Routen. It's going to really be something to watch. I think Clyde Drexler is one of the great athletes in college basketball. Routens is a great all-around player who loves to pass the ball. That's going to be an interesting uh, combination there today. Sandifer's off to an excellent start in that guard spot, averaging 20 points a game for the Orangemen. We'll be back now with the opening tip-off in just a moment. There's a time in life for the young to say, I want something else, a different way. The town's the same, the people too. School is over, needs something to do. The services have it, it'll really show. You'll see new places, you'll really grow in the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines. Challenge, adventure, excitement too, a time to enjoy and see something new. Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines. You'll work hard, feel really free, serving your country for all to see in the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines. Be part of a team, be friends forever, a part of the services you won't forget ever. Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines. It's a great place to start. Light up your eyes, unwrap your smile Let your arms undo the miles Bring your heart back home and find that special face Decorate your time with laughter Let the hours live ever after In the past 40 years, Chevrolet has brought more people home for the holidays than anyone Have a happy new year, America This is our deluxe model. Triple track, two-storm. There are certain things you've always wanted, but for some reason, you just never got them, like the Black & Decker Workmate. So I caught this baby on 50-pound test. It's line. not like you it can't afford it, but somehow you never got around to getting one. So she bids three spades, so I bid three no trumps. So trump next time you see a Workmate, instead of just longing for one, why not stop in and get it? So I don't the look. Workmate Work Center. It's time you got one. Over the years, us guys in Light Beer from Miller have had a lot of laughs. But this time, we'd like to share some personal sentiments. Boo? Have a very Merry Christmas. Yeah, and a Happy New Year, too. Yeah. And this holiday, may there be bass under all your lily pads. May all your pockets be full. Feliz Navidad. Peace. We wish you everything you always wanted in a Christmas. And more. You know, I'm glad they asked me to do this commercial. Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. The Carrier Dome in Syracuse, the fifth largest dome stadium. The Syracuse Orangemen, 5 0. They've gone to 12 straight postseason tournaments. Houston coming off of that surprising finish a year ago when they reached the Final Four, only to lose to North Carolina in the semifinals in the Superdome. Syracuse, coached by Jim Beheim. Jim is a native of Lions, New York, nearby here. He was a starting guard for the Orangemen, and he played in the backcourt along with Dave Bing, who, of course, is a legendary player for Syracuse. The Houston club, Guy Lewis in his 27th year. This is a club that up front is very strong. But the big question mark coming into this afternoon is whether or not they can get the guard play that they need. They lost both starting guards as well as the backups from last year's club. They have moved Michael Young to a guard spot, but they're still not completely satisfied that they have solved the problem. And as Billy Packer mentioned at the top, they're going to be pressured early in this game. Jim Beheim said two minutes into the game, we'll know whether Houston can handle that pressure. This crowd, we expect around 20,000, is as enthusiastic as you'll ever see. That's Tony Bruin, one of the starters. Leo Routon, he's the key to this ball club. Their center will be a sophomore from Malvern, New York, Andre Hawkins. In the backcourt, this is Gene Waldron, a junior out of Long Island City, New York. And Sandifer, 
One of the tie captains from Ann Arbor, Michigan. And so the stage is set. The early part of the season, both these clubs will find out just about where they are as far as their progress is concerned. Neither have been tested severely yet. Guy Lewis, who won his 500th game this year, the first game of the year, the 16th coach in the history of college basketball to accomplish that feat. He has his polka dot towel. He has only three of them left. They were given to him in 67, 68. He had about three dozen of them. And now he's down to his final three towels, so they're going to have to come up with a new supply. And his 24 cups of water, which he starts uh, each game with 24 cups of water. I understand he puts most of them away. Now, Bruin will jump center, even though he's only 6'5", but he has a 42-inch vertical leap. He'll be going up against Larry Mishaw. Mishaw at 6'9". Routens has his feet in the circle. I guess he realizes what he's doing right now. They're deploying themselves. First meeting ever between these two clubs. Look at Bruin get up. Now the ball was thrown a little bit off center, but he really can get in the air. This is Routens out of Toronto, Canada. Bruin inside. And here comes the full court pressure. Young will have to handle a lot of that. This is Clyde Drexler, outstanding junior forward. To Dickens, to Elijah That handles the press, doesn't it? Oh, Akeem the Dream makes it 2-2. Rotten's had to change his shot, and he's been fouled. But it doesn't look like the 45-second clock's going to be too important because I don't think the guy can get the button down quick enough. Uh, Gary, this surprised me. Routens, who is a man you really have to look out for, on both occasions down court was left wide open. I'm surprised at the matchup there. Misha was a man guilty of fouling. Routens will have a pair of shots coming. He's a very fine free throw shooter, hitting 92% coming into this game. He didn't look good on the jump shot nor on that foul shot. He pulled away from it very quickly. He's had some problems with an ankle. Syracuse now with a 3-2 lead. Drexler, look at the pressure to Dickens. Dickens, a sophomore from Houston. In fact, four of the five starters come from Houston. Nice overplay on the inside by Hawkins. Out to Dickens. He didn't play that much last year. Played in 14 games. Bruin tries to keep it alive. Misha. Routen brings it out. And Young with the steal. Both teams a little cold right now. Akeem, and I believe he walked to the ball. He did. Watching Akeem play yesterday in practice, he has a tendency, Gary, without having the great hands, to get himself kind of confused when he touches the ball instead of catching it first and then making the play. He also tries to put the ball down too much. Tries to dribble it, gets in real trouble. Here is Bruin. Good block. Akeem with the block by Drexler. Smooth, glide the glide on the move to Misha. Now that's what I'm talking about, uh, just the opposite. Misha has the great hands inside, caught that ball in traffic and had the presence of mind to put it up easily. That and shows you how Drexler can handle the ball also. He broke that pressure effectively. Routon, and Gray Hawkins. Routon's is a great passer and I'm surprised at that matchup which has Misha on Routon. Routon's is averaging seven assists a game and he had one there. Foul inside, it's going to go on Young of Houston charging. Now to the other end of the court now. I thought it would be Clyde Drexler on route and put Nishaw on Bruin. But it's the other way around and I think that uh, Routens has a little bit more quickness that Nishaw can handle. But what jumpers you have on each other and Bruin and Drexler going against each other. This is Waldron, and Waldron has been fouled by Dickens. Waldron has been having some problems with an injury. Dickens picking up the personal foul, his first. Third team foul now against the Houston Cougars. Guy Lewis has uh, been one of the first guys to go with that second guard being a guy of size. Dickens is a little bit uh, uh, short to play a guy like Waldron. Waldron's got good, good enough quickness to stay with him. He's got about two or three inches on him. They're saying that Waldron shot that ball. They're giving him two free throws. I don't think he shot it. No, not even close. 
but he will have a pair of free throws. Waldron from Long Island City, New York. He was a starter last year as a sophomore. In the summertime, he played in the Virgin Islands. He was conducting a basketball clinic over there. This is a great free throw shooting team in Syracuse, shooting almost 80% as a team, 78. A good shooting club, shooting so well. In fact, last year they did a good job also from the field, as did Houston. Here comes Syracuse for the first time back in the zone. 2-3 type zone. Michael Young is the most sought after player in the state when he came out of Texas to Drexler. Fine penetration by Young inside. He has the capability of playing as a swing man, guard forward type, so he can get it inside. Drexler, his first two points. Waldron with Dickens all over him. A reach around, he got a piece of it. But coming up with it the other end, Sandifer, he saves it. Not a good pass by Olajuwon. The tempo of this game really tore. They're moving back and forth. Haven't really gotten underway as far as the organization. Little Helder Skelter. Bruin, nice pass. Sandifer. And now every one of the starting five for Syracuse has scored in this game. 9-6 Syracuse of the lead. Shows you the versatility of a Drexler. He's the guy, really the key to breaking the press so far. Young. Young is probably the most underrated player they have on this club. Last time out, he had 22 points in the win against Auburn. And everybody remembers the game against North Carolina in the semifinals last year where Young only scored two points. That might have been one of the real keys that put uh, Houston out of the Final Four. Now, he was sick during that game. Here's Hawkins. He's been fouled. Elijah Wan picking it up. We're seeing some mismatch situations right here. That one created by Tony Bruin. Now, Hawkins went up there. One of the things that Hawkins does is use his body well, but he, in that case, might have used the right arm to shield off the defender, but got away with it. That's 14 fouls against Houston, the first on Akeem. Two points in the game thus far for Andre Hawkins. This man was in foul trouble all last year. He says that he has now played with controlled aggression, trying to stay out of that foul difficulty. Six foot eight, a sophomore. 11-8, Syracuse. Well, another factor, Gary, is this crowd. You know, Lexington last week and up here at the Carrier Dome this week, two of the great places to play basketball in All-America. Houston getting ready to make changes in the backcourt. They will substitute in pairs. Demishaw, big, strong inside. Man, Olajuwon. Dumb stuff. Jimmy Beheim saying they're coming over our backs, but he realized that if Houston's going to get the ball that low, they're real trouble. He almost stuffed one of the orange men in the basket that time. Reach in by Young. Here he comes. 11-10, a chance now to take the lead. Houston, Rexler trying to do that. Elijah Watt. Boy, is he playing with beautiful pass. Real pressure inside to Drexler. Elijah Wan doesn't look like the same guy, does he? Beautiful pass inside. It was a great catch by Drexler, but some look by Elijah Wan. What a year difference it's made for this man. Didn't start playing basketball with 79. Elijah Wan. Well, Hawkins sent some great screens. Rounds a little cold in the early going, and Akeem has another rebound. That's four already for him. Houston with a one-point lead. Dickens. Eric Dickens hasn't been scoring all that much. Averaging only three points a game. And now all of Houston's players have been able to get into the scoring column. Sandifer's been pretty quiet so far. Young really on him. Waldron after the steal. Attempt. You notice how Syracuse has pulled off the press. Probably because Drexler did a good job throwing right over the top of it. That was one of the question marks, whether Houston had the poise outside to handle the pressure. Broken up by Waldron, saved by Misha. Here comes Sandifer to Routens. Routens took his eye off the pass. Now he's down, he's had a lot of physical problems, including the two knee operations last year, but he took his eye off the pass on that one. Not to mention that Routens had back surgery when he's a young kid. A lot of people felt he'd never play again. But he's come back here, his team now trailing by one at the 14-39 mark.
We are USA One. And number one is taking charge in high technology transportation. With some of the highest mileage numbers in cars like the diesel Chevette. Taking charge in four-wheel drive with new S10 blazers and pickups. And the versatile Chevy Citation. Chevrolet, America's sales leader, is taking it to the limit. And now on new 82 models only, get 10.9% financing that can save you hundreds of dollars on financing costs. When, when I was, was looking, looking for a small computer, I went to IBM, IBM because they know what a small big company needs. I wanted data, word processing, and some word data processing. And they showed me a small computer to fit my our budget. IBM even had a place to learn how to use it. That impressed me. Us. And my good business sense even impressed my girlfriend, Charlotte. IBM. That's the sound of new improved Sinex. Now a second of, ooh, and up to 12 hours of. Ah. Medicated Vicks Vapors penetrate tough congestion instantly with a powerful feeling of relief. Ooh. Then new Sinex shrinks swollen nasal membranes even longer. So now you breathe freely for up to 12 hours. Ah. New improved Sinex long-acting nasal spray. A second of, ooh. even more. Ah. Last week, we were in Lexington, Kentucky, and our Chevrolet player of the game was 6'6", Derry Cord, with 26 points and 7 rebounds. He was just outstanding as they defeated Villanova. And near the conclusion of every CBS Sports NCAA basketball game, Billy Packer and I will be selecting the Chevrolet player of the game. And in case we disagree, our producer, Rick Sharp, will cast the deciding vote. Chevrolet donates $1,000 to be equally shared by the general scholarship funds of both schools to assist students in all academic disciplines. Houston with a 14-13 lead with 14.35 to go in the first half. We have a change in the backcourt, a reach-in foul on Hawkins. We have two men in now, Reed Geddes, and also coming in is Derek Giles, and that's the way Guy Lewis wanted to do, was substitute in pairs. Right, he took Dinkins out, and he took Olajuwon out, who's having an incredible game so far, just wants to calm him down. He's off to an excellent start. Everybody probably remembers Geddes from the... 10 for 10 free throws he made to put uh, his team in the Final Four last year. There's Hawkins on the reach. Giles, nice save. Off to Young. Young to follow. And he walked to the ball. That's four turnovers now against Houston. They are really doing a good job following their own shots. Houston getting the multiple shots thus far. That's a great rebounding ball club, particularly with the quickness on the offensive end of the court. They have five offensive rebounds already. Tony Bruin out of Astoria, New York. To Routens. Broken up. Nice hands by Drexler. It's off of Syracuse. He's a great athlete, and that time Houston went to the zone, even with this smaller club on the floor. Turnovers now four each. Man dribbling the ball, Giles. Played in junior college last year. Lee Junior College in Baytown, Texas. Syracuse back to the man-to-man. -man. Young seemingly always getting inside. Houston now with a three-point lead. Four points for Young. Geddes is out there on Sanifer. Syracuse has got to get Sanifer in the offense. Been awful quiet so far. He and Routens both have not really found the mark offensively for this club. It's a 2-3 zone now by Houston. There's Sanifer. Sanifer doesn't carry a lot of weight. That's some concern, but the quickness and his shooting ability. Four points for Sanifer. Beautiful touch Ooh. pass by Drexler. Geddes out of Houston also to Young. Here comes Waldron to Sandifer, and he's two for two. Syracuse takes the lead. Geddes gets it back now. Geddes says, really, come on. He's a sophomore. Last year, you might recall, in that Mideast Regional, Midwest Regional, hit 10 straight free throws against BC, and big free throws at that time. And now he started to steady this ball club. Routens. What an amazing and a scouting report. As well as Routens has been playing, you wonder why Houston's not guarding him. Not a good pass. Walden got it off to Sandifer. Bruin. He walked. Hawkins will save it. Sandifer again. Three in a row. 